Hi, my name is um, Olajide Olagbenji, and I'm the author of the book, How to Resolve a Conflict, which I'd like to um, share with you on the screen. Um, yes, How to Resolve a Conflict. Um, this book is the textbook for the lecture series you just joined, uh, which is also tied to How to Resolve a Conflict. And you are now in How to Resolve a Conflict Lecture 54. Welcome, I hope you enjoy the interaction. Um, so what we do um, is read from the book and then have a, have a discussion. Please um, endeavor to subscribe to the, this channel. Just press the subscribe button as we go on now. Um, we um, Discussing the mediator, the person of the mediator, his skills, his roles, and all that. Um, and we're, sp we're spending a long time on the mediator because the mediator is the um, call the whole process of conflict mediation. Um, and so today we are discussing uh, transactional analysis, and maybe if we have time, we we'll want to discuss um, what's called partner. Once again, welcome. Um, so I read transactional analysis. As the mediation progresses, the mediator should continually make transactional analysis to deal with obstacles in the process. This is one stage where a co-mediator is helpful to discuss the progress of the uh, mediation and to work out uh, ways of moving the process forward. Okay, so transactional analysis, big word. <laughs> it simply means uh, check the state of your mediation. How are we doing this mediation? You need to check that. You're not asking the parties, you're asking yourself as a mediator. And that's why I guess it's good to have the, to use the 10 step mediation that I created uh, for conflict resolution. Uh, because with the 10 steps, you're able to know uh, which with 10 steps, which I also call um, a checklist, able to oh, say, okay, where are we now? We're in step one, are we in step two, are we in step 10? Okay, in step one, how are we doing? You know, if we're in step one, how are we doing? Are we doing what we should be doing? Okay, if we're in step two, how are we doing? Are we what we should be doing? In step nine, we are we step nine, and we do what we're supposed to be doing. You know, and then, so that way you, you will ensure that you're monitoring the progress of the mediation. Don't forget, conflict resolution is a science, and therefore there's a system to it. It is systematic, you know, and you can't jump a step. Um, I also mentioned that we do transaction analysis to deal with obstacles in the process. So, okay, where are we? We are here. Okay, what are the challenges? Where are we here? Where have we been here for so long? Okay, what can we do to take us forward, to move us forward? Uh, you know, so you need to be checking what you are doing. A mediator, a good mediator, should be able to explain where he or she is why she is there. You know, somebody comes in as women, which will not be usual because it's a confidential process. As soon as somebody comes in and asks you why you're doing what you are doing, you should be able to say we are doing what we are doing because this is where we are in the process. And this is what has to be done in this at this stage. And this is why it has to be done. You know. And this is where we're going. It's, it's, that's what we decide. It, 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 it flows. It's not a hazard. Uh, you can't take step 10 before you take step one. You can't take step eight before you take step six. Yeah, and so you need to be uh, sure you are doing the right thing. That's transactional analysis. I I gave an example of one of my students that in real life mediation, you know, uh, well, before the mediation, 
I hate to say my one or two, that's really nice. Oh, well, man, it's, it's 10 steps. Uh, they are too long. <laughs> so I think they try to uh, jump a step away. Definitely, this mediation I was watching, his mediation, he definitely jumped a step because he was probably a step nine or so. And then the party blew up on his face. Why? What does that tell me? It tells me there was anger in there. Their feeling must be very strong about one or two things. It tells me that he had not taken step one, step one to, 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 to understand their feelings and step two to deal with the feelings. <laughs> so of course. Uh, so he, he thought he was being fast on this man, but you no, know, it's a science. You can't jump a step. He, of course, he would have had to go back and do the needful, which is to follow the process, follow the system. This is immediately that follow the system, that's what see. You know, if you don't follow the system and you appear to succeed, it's only an appearance, you know, the, the conflict will come back uh, because you've just secreted the process. You know, you've, uh, you've not dealt with the, the issues that thoroughly. Um, so transaction analysis are very, very important. I want to say here that this is a stage, and this one you are doing, uh, Analyzing what you are doing, you're checking, monitoring yourself, what you're doing. As I said, this is it's where it's good to have a co mediator. Uh, so you can have, you have another person, another mediator to discuss the progress of the mediation and then and to work out ways of moving the process forward. Now, the co mediator, you know, I suggested, and I believe in this lecture series, but a uh, co mediator could be somebody who, who knows the, the field. The, the, the profession, the, the background of the participant that you have. You don't have to be an expert in the field of the conference to do a mediation, but it's helpful if you have a co mediator because there are things that are probably strange to you, you don't understand the co mediator because it's from the same field and the parties is able to explain, oh, okay, this is what they're saying, <laughs> you know. So you, you move faster, you know. You, you take all the steps, but you still will move faster because you have more understanding. You know, so uh, I think comedians are great. You know, uh, that's it's a possibility that you miss a point. The community picks it. You know, uh, the point you may it may be important. You know, uh, uh, so so that's transaction analysis. Uh, it is important uh, for mediators to monitor to do self monitoring of the of their process to make sure they are moving in the right direction. They are doing the right things, and but uh, they are not leaving any stone unturned, you know. Uh, so that at the end of the day, they can have as holistic as possible a, a settlement, if it is possible, because you can't impose a settlement. The parties decide if they want to settle or not. But your duty is to make sure you follow the process, the outcome, the end result. Yes. It's owned by the parties, but the process is owned by you. You take them through the process. And, and so you must ensure that you do it thoroughly. And that's why you should do transactional trans trans analysis of the parties' progress. I'd like to stop here and then we'll continue uh, in lecture 55. Um, once again, thank you for joining. I hope you learned something today. And try and apply what you are learning in this, in this lecture series to your life situation, your business, your whatever, wherever you are, you have to find yourself. You know, if I said, you know, to a friend of mine, and I've said to several, they actually uh, conflict is the biggest industry, you know, so it's a joy to be a mediator because uh, we are we are needed. You know? And if you are a total brain mediator, which is what we're trying to achieve this. With this book and lecture series, I will show you, you do a little good to yourself and to the people that you help to deal with their inner, inevitable conflict. Thanks again. Uh, post your comments and uh, uh, I'll see you in lecture 55.